Uh, apart from Germany, you have applied from uh, universities in US also. Like so, like did you got some admits in US also? Yeah, I got admits from NEU, and I also got scholarship from the same. But mm -hmm. again, uh, US is quite expensive, as you all know. Uh, and expensive as well as even, unpredictable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You never know when your H one B visa will get cancelled. So. Yeah. And Germany is, you know, in this coronavirus situation, you can see how well they handle themselves. So that is one of the things right. that you need to keep in mind when you select a country. Like, uh, as you said, uh, you have selected Germany. So can you tell uh, what are the opportunities after this course or what are the opportunities in the field of game engineering or, or informatic as a whole, like computer science, when it comes to Germany? Like people know about USA, uh, mm -hmm. there are many opportunities. But also, like these days, the demand for this stream in Germany is growing because uh, recently I talked with my friend. He said the demand for computer science people is more and the supply is less in Germany. Yeah, so, yeah. like, I want to ask about you on this topic. Yeah. In uh, relation to my field or games engineering or basically, you know, a computer vision kind of stuff, there is a lot of demand because, you know, automobile industry is moving to autonomous vehicles and electric cars. So mm -hmm. they need people to develop these systems. So who will develop the system? So okay. that's where computer engineering comes into play. There are a lot of computer vision, great computer vision courses at TUM. So that would, and also uh, there are, you know, the professors at TUM have a, have a lot of connections. So okay. you can get into those fields quite relatively mm -hmm. easy and if you're talking about games engineering you have two routes you can either go to industry or you can mm -hmm. go to game studios like ubisoft cry uh, cry engine crisis and stuff like that and also the whole mm -hmm. europe is also open for you because right. people can work across europe so yeah there yeah. is a lot of opportunities which are not as obvious as USA. Like everyone yeah, is like, obviously right. USA has a lot of opportunities, but Germany, is a, Germany also has a lot of opportunities. Right. This course, uh, like the medium of instruction for this course, is it English or is it English, German, or is it German? Yeah, it is available in both the languages. Like you won't have a problem. Like any, uh, most of the major courses are available in English. Like okay, I have so only seen in a couple of courses that are specifically only in German. Most of the courses are in English. So yours it's completely English. Uh, nothing is uh, yeah. German in any of the modules of German, no? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, like uh, talking about the internships, like uh, many University of Applied Sciences, they have a mandatory internship. These days also like TUM is also introducing this mandatory internship into mm -hmm. their courses. So is uh, your course, does it have this mandatory internship of one semester where you can practice uh, that semester in some companies or learn something from companies? It is not mandatory, but you can. Like they have uh, credits assigned to it. If you check their website, you will find there are credits assigned for internships and also they have departments that will help you regarding the specific field. Okay. So it's so, not mandatory in your course. Yeah, it's not mandatory, but if you want to, you can. You can do. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's always beneficial. Like if we yeah. also do it free willingly, it yeah. adds up on a profile. Yeah. Yeah. So the uh, TUM has a requirement on their uh, website. So basically, you need a lot of modules from computer engineering and mathematics and physics. It would be tough, but if you have all those modules, you can get into the, get into the course. But uh, it's really quite difficult yeah. because you basically need a major in computer science to cover all those modules. Right, right. But you can, you you have, you know, if you have all those modules, you can get into this course. You can or in informatics but you like those courses are a must or else they will set up reject their application how you prepared for the interview like as you told you got 18 out of 20 in interview so like uh, did you got some help from seniors or like what was your strategy in terms of preparing the interview i basically had no content available specifically for informatics and games engineering but 
there are a lot of Quora posts available on uh, for uh, informatics. So the question, some of the questions were similar and like half of the time they will uh, grill you on your research papers and your work experience. And the other half they will ask you some basic questions like for me it was some of the algorithms, BFS, DFS and stuff like that, uh, which I had prepared a bit. So half of it will definitely you cannot predict what they are going to ask and the other half is basic, based on your uh, degree. So you must, you know, have a quick brush through on all the concepts. That would be right. great. And the other half, you like, my reviewer read my paper, so he knew like everything there. Mm -hmm. So just be prepared. Don't, uh, you know, seem like you haven't done the project yourself or stuff like that. That could go. City of Munich. Did you got some admits from other universities as well in Germany? No, I only applied to TUM. Okay, you only applied to TUM and you got into it. Now I think uh, I have asked everything to Umesh, and I think Umesh, you can give some small suggestions to the aspiring candidates uh, who wish to join this course because uh, this course is one of its kind, that is game engineering, and many people they don't know. Like it's completely new to me, and many of my friends also they don't, they may not be knowing about this course. So, like a few suggestions or you can give to the students like uh, the depth of the subject or the opportunity like we can wrap up the session like this so one thing i would recommend you is to get some work experience on how game industry runs because it is quite like it, it will expect a lot from you and might not give that much so you really need to be passionate about it and other another thing is that it's not necessary that you work in game industry like after getting a degree from this college, you can diverge into uh, self-driving cars or some other technology or uh, AR or VR based devices or applications and stuff like that. So you have a lot of opportunities that you can get into and that is one of the most important things. Like you, are, you won't be trapped into gaming industry forever. You can change tracks too. So okay. you can decide that after doing uh, after mm -hmm. taking some of the courses, like if you prefer CV more than game engineering, so you can go into computer mm -hmm. vision. That's fine. Also, like uh, if you can share some light on the VR technology that is virtual re reality. So, like in short, if you can uh, give some insights on this topic. Yeah. So the most important thing is uh, VR is it provides a much more level of experience like you if you even like if you have seen a beat saber like it's a simple game you have to big uh, beat the boxes with the rhythm with two sticks right but it's still like people get engrossed in it and it is a big industry like that app itself has earned millions of dollars so you can you know you can also provide a lot of other aspects like you can do training in vr you can do data visualization in vr you can mm -hmm. show plants or cities like there are miniature cities developed in vr for architects to plan properly and again you you right. can find all these information in unreal engine channel like another thing we mm -hmm. we uh, have heard about fortnite but Unreal Engine is used uh -huh. to do a lot of other different types of things too that are, you know, directly impacting our society or our cities. Like many mm -hmm. cities are using Unreal Engine to do their uh, planning and stuff. So just keep in touch mm -hmm. with that. So you might have seen a lot of VFX in movies, like uh, specifically Disney movies. Disney movies, mm -hmm. each and every Disney movie is work of art as well as technology. Like they make something new with every you know, iteration of their movie. <laughs> so you can work in that and they will definitely require you. Like there are a lot of physics simulations that need to be done. And these all uh, course, uh, these all topics are part of your course. Like you can get into physical simulations in uh, a course as a course in TUM. You can do physics simulation with deep learning at TUM, which is not, I haven't seen that course in at any mm. university other than TUM. Yeah, you can get into VFX industry too. So that is one of the possibilities. 
but sadly there aren't any in uh, germany but there are some in uk like ilm okay also mandalorian you might be knowing mandalorian it was okay. like the background of that uh, move uh, series was shot in unreal engine. like they had a big dome mm-hmm. they were rendering everything in unreal engine and uh, you know mm-hmm. the background dome was changing as per the camera and unreal engine was handling all of so gaming industry is like mixing along with entertainment quite a lot so mm-hmm. you you can get into that i think you have given us a brief insight about this industry as well as your field so i think i don't know about the audience but particularly if you are talking about me then i have learned like useful insights from this video and it's a learning part for me as well because when i talk with many people i get to learn something new and learning the information from them and it's great like this part uh, was also close to me like games and all so i was yeah. also very interested on in, in this video and you have given us a brief insight so i would like to thank you thanks a lot for coming on the channel sharing your experiences and i think this one video will be a uh, best video on youtube related to this computer science and game engineering as it is not there because i have been searching youtube like it's not there i know so yeah this will definitely help the aspiring students and thank you umesh thanks a lot thanks a lot for thanks for coming